Shalom Bapak Ibu orang tua murid elementary ICS yang saya hormati. Shalom anak-anak yang saya kasihi. Selamat hari Natal dan tahun baru. Walaupun kita ada dalam masa pandemi, Natal mengingatkan kita bahwa Allah senantiasa beserta kita. Oleh karena itu mari kita menyambut tahun baru dengan penuh keyakinan apapun kondisi kita Allah tetap menyertai kita. Sekali lagi saya ucapkan selamat Natal dan tahun baru. Tuhan memberkati kita semua. Hey Val, how are you? Hi Sir Leoni. Um, I feel a bit sad. Well, you don't have any reason to be sad, even though I know it's pandemic time and we're celebrating Christmas. But there's no reason to be sad because why? Because we are celebrating Christmas now with our parents and students at home. Oh, that's correct. Well, hello everyone. We're so glad to have you here, our dear students and parents. To our Christmas celebration. Yeah, even though some uh back in back in those years, maybe back in last years, maybe we we are now not in Jakarta, right? Maybe some of us already out. I don't know where, but yeah, during the pandemic, there's not that much things we can do right now. But don't be sad because there will be a lot of surprises. We'll be celebrating Christmas from country to another country here in IICS. Okay, so we're going to start our Christmas celebration with a prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, we give you thanks, Lord, for the opportunity for us to come before you as a family, that we can celebrate Christmas, Lord, together with our family this year. Even though, Lord, we are in the situation during the pandemic, Lord, we are so grateful that we still have the opportunity to listen to your word. Therefore, Lord, please speak to us. Speak to us personally so that we know the essence of Christmas itself, knowing that you came to this earth and to save us, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your love, for your great love for each one of us. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Uh, Miss Felicia, I wonder how people celebrate Christmas this year. You know, it's well, it's still COVID nineteen pandemic time. You know, I, I I keep wondering how people can celebrate Christmas this year. Well, I think it will be different. Absolutely right. We cannot have crowds with us, yes. so that there might be no huge celebrations. No like festivities. Usual. Yeah, something like that. We cannot go out from our house, but don't be sad. Students, look to your left and right right now. You still have your family next to you. You still have your brother. You still have your sister. You still have your grandpa, grandma, even maybe your dog at home. Yeah, that's correct. We should be really grateful that we still have our families with us. It should be fun. And it reminds me of a song, Sir Leody. It's called Hai Mari Berhimpun. So I would like to invite every one of us Let's go. to get ready and sing the song together. Let's sing the song, Hai Mari Berhimpun.
What a lovely song to start our Christmas celebration, Miss Felicia. Yeah. It reminds me to the simplicity when Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Yes, of course, and I believe everyone who's watching this right now can also feel the Christmas vibes already. The Christmas vibe already? Yes. Um, anyway, Mr. Leodi, uh -huh. do you know how to say Merry Christmas in Mandarin? Merry Christmas in Mandarin? Um, well, I will try. Okay. Was it... Oh, that's actually pretty good! Really? Oh, yes! How about singing in Mandarin? Of course! Of course? Of course, no! Oh, of course not. But I know who can! Oh, okay! Um, I know that parents and students can sing with us! Of course! Let's travel around the world! Let's travel to another country and sing with us! Feel sad. I I miss my student. You miss your students. Yes. Well, but this is Christmas. Remember, you said nobody should be sad on Christmas Day. Well, I have a surprise for you. To really? Make you surprise? Happy. Yes. Really? And for every one of you at home, I have the surprise. So be ready. And here it is.
I saw my students finally! It was from grade 4, grade 5, and grade 6! Thank you very much! Oh, I miss my students too, you know! What, really? Yes, wait, of course! Wait, wait, I got something. Let me call. Miss Siska! Yes! Bring them in! Bring them in! What? Yes, is now! Is it the lower class choir? Yes, now! Oh, now. yes, please! This is how the birth of Jesus came about. There was a census taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own city to register. So Joseph went up to Bethlehem, the city of David. He went there with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in the manger, because there was no room for them to end. And there were shepherds out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were afraid. Fear not, the angel said. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign unto you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloth.
Jesus. Wow, such a wonderful choir. Thank you so much for giving your best boys and girls. It was very good. But now, parents and students, let's prepare our heart as we are going to listen to a sermon. Let the sermon be a strong reminder for us to a true meaning of a Christmas. Hi, boys and girls. So good to see you again. Hi, moms and dads, grandparents. Can you believe it? It is the end of the year 2020 already. It's December and it's Christmas already. Wherever you are, I hope that you are safe and in good health. Now, boys and girls, Miss Leone will want to take you to see what Christmas is like in other parts of the world other than Indonesia. Who wants to go with me? Me! Me! Oh, Donnie, you want to come and join me? Don't be shy and say hello to everybody. Hi! S say hello. hello. Hello! That's right. Boys and girls, this is Donnie the Puppet. Donnie, boys and girls. So you sure you want to come with me? Yep. Yes? To see what Christmas is like in other parts of the world. Are we going on an airplane? Uh, no, we're not taking the airplane. Um, are we going on a ship? No, we are... Oh, oh, I know! Rocket! Well, no. <laughs> no rockets. We are going to see other parts of the world and what Christmas is like over there this special way. Ready? Uh-huh. Wow. wow. Where are we? Boys and girls, can you take a guess? Where are we right now? It's not far from Indonesia. We are in... Singapore! That's right! We are in Singapore! Miss Leone, those people shopping, do they all know Jesus? People you see on the streets, most likely they have heard about Jesus. Most likely they know about who Jesus is. But whether they truly worship Him, that's a totally different thing altogether knowing and believing you know two out of ten people in singapore say that they are christians if they know about jesus and if they know about christmas why don't they believe in jesus that's a good question donnie if people celebrate christmas if they know about jesus why don't they believe in Jesus Christ. That's what Donnie asked. Yep. Many people, they know about who Jesus is. They love Christmas. They may even go to church. But sadly, many, many people around the world, including in Singapore and in Indonesia, they don't believe in Jesus Christ as their savior. They only know They've only heard about Jesus, but they don't believe in Jesus Christ. They celebrate Christmas though. Anyway, let's talk about Christmas, but in a different place. You want to do that? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah? Let's go somewhere else with Ms. Leone and Donnie. Yay! Ready? One, two, three. Wow. Wow. Where are we? <laughs> it's cold. Yes, it's winter right now and it's cold. Can you take a guess where we are right now? We are in New York, America. Did you guess it right? We are in New York. And yes, it's winter there in New York. Miss Leone? I can see so many people having fun with their family and friends. To many, many people around the world, 
Christmas is about having fun, holidays, eating nice food with friends and families. Christmas is about nice lights, Christmas songs, but there is no Jesus Christ in their Christmas. What? That's true. No Jesus in their Christmas, even though they are busy and even though they are enjoying Christmas. Boys and girls, what is Christmas for you? Presents. Presents? Christmas presents? Who likes Christmas presents? Ah, I can see many of you. Me. Uh -huh. Me. We like Christmas presents. Boys and girls, it is okay for us to like getting Christmas presents. But there is something that is more important, something that we must really, really remember about Christmas. And that is Christmas is about Christ. Christmas is about Christ. Now I'd like to talk about that with all of you. Let's say goodbye to New York. Now, Donnie, I'll put you back to your seat, okay? Okay. Boys and girls, do you remember what Miss Leonie said earlier? Something that we must never ever forget about Christmas. What is it? That Christmas is about me? That Christmas is about presents? No. Christmas is about Christ. Christmas is about Christ. Can you say it together with me? Christmas is about Christ. One more time. Christmas is about Christ. The Bible says in Luke 2 verse 11, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Christmas is about Christ, God's Son, who left heaven to be born in this world. Miss Leonie wants to ask every one of you, have you ever had a birthday party or a birthday dinner or a birthday gathering? Imagine that you have your birthday party and your friends are invited to come over to your birthday party. Normally, what would happen when they arrive at your house? They would knock on the door. They would say, happy birthday. They would most probably give you your birthday present and then they will play and play with your friends and with you. You will be with your friends at your birthday party. Now imagine a different situation. It's your birthday party and you hear a knock at the door. And when you open the door, Excited to see your friends? Your friends come through. They walk over to the dinner table without saying hello to you. And they started playing with other friends. They decorate your house. They bake birthday cakes and cookies. And they give birthday presents to each other but no presents for you. No one talks to you. Nobody says hello. And your birthday cake is eaten by everybody and you don't get anything. If that were to happen to you on your birthday, how would you feel? Normally we would say, but that's my birthday. You are cutting my birthday cake without even including me in it. You are coming to my birthday party and yet you don't give me any birthday presents and instead you're giving each other birthday presents. That's wrong. 
boys and girls. That is exactly what happens during Christmas time around the world. People celebrate Christmas, they put up nice decorations, they bake Christmas cookies, and they buy presents, they give each other presents, but they do not even include the one that Christmas is about. Christmas is about the birth of Jesus Christ. We remember about how Jesus came into this world born as a baby. That's Christmas. But many, many people around the world focus on the party, the holidays, and they forget about Jesus. Do you have Jesus in your heart when you celebrate Christmas? Do you have Jesus in your heart? in your life, in your mind, as you celebrate Christmas. Too easily we forget about Christ. We focus on the presents. We focus on the holidays. We focus on the good stuff and fun stuff. And we forget about what Christmas is really about. If you are honest with yourself and you admit, yes, I have forgotten about Jesus Christ. I remember about Him, but I don't really always think about Him during Christmas. And I want to tell Him, I'm sorry. God, I want to remember more about You. I want to celebrate You. You come to Him right now. Don't waste any more time. Jesus has come to earth for you and for me. And Jesus has given you and me the greatest present. And that is Himself. He gave Himself for you and for me. He knew we need to be saved. We need forgiveness. We are going to be punished for our sins. And we need to be saved from the punishment of sins and Jesus gave himself for you on the cross he bare the punishments that are ours and that is his present for you now will you give yourself to him will you give your best to Jesus Christ will you give your heart your mind your life your talents to Jesus Christ. Christmas, everybody. Christmas is about Christ. Christmas is about Christ. And let us remember this always. And may God bless you. Mama, Papa, Opa, Oma, dan yang lain-lain, kita akan bersama-sama merenungkan Firman Tuhan, kita akan bersama-sama merenungkan Natal. Lukas 2 ayat 11 mengatakan, Hari ini telah lahir bagimu Juru Selamat, yaitu Kristus Tuhan di kota Daud. Hari ini telah lahir bagimu Juru Selamat, yaitu Kristus di kota Daud. Bapak dan Ibu sekalian, kalau kita meninggalkan Jakarta untuk berlibur, kita tentu mencari tempat yang nyaman, yang bersih, kita mencari tempat penginapan yang tidak ada banyak semut, tidak ada banyak kecoa di mana-mana. Kita pasti mencari tempat yang nyaman. Dalam hal ini Bapak Ibu sekalian, firman Tuhan mengatakan, Tuhan Yesus, Datang ke dalam dunia. Tuhan Yesus yang adalah pencipta rela datang sebagai manusia yang terbatas. Tuhan Yesus yang kudus, yang tidak ada dosa, rela untuk hadir. Berada di tengah-tengah manusia yang 
kotor hatinya, kotor pikirannya, kotor mulutnya yang sehari-harinya berdosa dan berdosa. Tuhan Yesus tinggalkan sorga, datang ke dalam dunia dan lahir di kandang binatang yang bau dan kotor dan begitu hina. Padahal dia adalah anak Allah. Ini adalah berita Natal yang sesungguhnya. Bukan tentang pohon Natal, bukan tentang program-program Natal yang begitu menyibukkan setiap kita. Natal bukan tentang kado-kado yang begitu mewah atau holiday. Berita Natal yang sesungguhnya adalah tentang anak Allah yang rela datang ke dalam dunia untuk bapa dan ibu sekalian, untuk saya dan untuk Anda. Inilah berita Natal yang seringkali juga dilupakan termasuk oleh orang-orang Kristen sendiri. Betapa banyaknya keluarga-keluarga Kristen yang begitu memasuki bulan Desember sibuk dengan dekorasi Natal, hadiah-hadiah Natal, perencanaan untuk berlibur, kesana, kesini, membeli barang-barang baru, merencanakan pesta Natal dan makan-makan bersama. Pertanyaannya, apakah Tuhan Yesus hadir di dalam keluarga? Tuhan Yesus yang hari lahirnya kita rayakan saat Natal, hadirkah Yesus di dalam rumah kita? Hadirkah Yesus di dalam segala percakapan kita? Hadirkah Yesus di dalam hati kita saat kita merayakan Natal? Seringkali yang terjadi adalah Natal demi Natal demi Natal lewat dan hati kita penuh dengan aktivitas. Tidak ada tempat bagi Yesus. Bapak dan Ibu sekalian, waktu Yesus datang ke dalam dunia, Juga tidak ada tempat bagi dia. Maria dan Yusuf mencari tempat untuk bisa menginap. Untuk bisa melahirkan bayi Yesus. Tapi tidak ada tempat bagi mereka. Apakah hari ini kita pun demikian? Hati kita, hidup kita, waktu kita sehari-hari penuh dengan segala macam kegiatan. Sibuk dengan pekerjaan, dengan urusan rumah, dengan urusan gereja mungkin, dengan sosial media, sibuk dengan gadget setiap hari dan tidak ada waktu untuk Kristus. Bapak dan Ibu sekalian, saat kita melewati Natal tahun ini, satu tahun yang tidak mudah bagi kita semua karena adanya pandemi, saat kita berada di dalam bulan Desember ini, Adakah tempat bagi Kristus di dalam hati kita? Is there any room for Jesus in your life, in my life? Seperti yang telah disampaikan kepada anak-anak. Saat ada seseorang berulang tahun, kita memberikan hadiah kepada yang berulang tahun. Itu adalah yang normal terjadi. Tapi Bapak Ibu sekalian, Natal adalah saat di mana Kristus lahir dan dia yang telah lebih dulu memberikan hadiah kepada kita. Christ gave us the greatest gift first. Even though we don't deserve any of it. We don't deserve him. We don't deserve salvation. We do not deserve forgiveness. But he gave it to us. Kristus memberikan hadiah yang begitu mulia Kepada kita pengampunan dosa. Hidup kekal bagi mereka yang percaya kepadanya. Kalau Kristus telah memberikan hadiah yang begitu besar dan mulia. Apa yang Bapak dan Ibu akan berikan kepada Kristus? Kristus sudah tahu saat dia hadir di dalam dunia. Saat dia lahir di dalam dunia. Dia akan menderita. Dia akan dihina, dia akan ditolak oleh umat ciptaannya sendiri. Kristus datang ke dalam dunia untuk menderita. Untuk mati di atas kayu salib karena kita.
pertanyaannya Bapak dan Ibu sekalian. Dalam momen Natal ini, sudahkah kita hidup bagi Kristus? Sudahkah kita mengingat akan kasihnya yang begitu besar? Sudahkah kita memuji Tuhan atas pengorbanannya di atas kayu salib? Sudahkah kita hidup beres di hadapan Tuhan? Yang sudah jarang baca Alkitab, mari kita kembali membuka Alkitab kita dan membaca kembali firman Tuhan yang hidup. Yang sudah jarang berdoa, mari kita berdoa kembali. Mari kita kembali kepada Kristus. Kristus menunggu kita kembali. Yang hidup di dalam dosa, yang selama ini telah hidup dengan tidak peduli akan kekudusan, belum terlambat untuk kembali kepada Kristus. Belum terlambat untuk datang kepadanya dan meminta ampun atas segala dosa-dosa. Memohon Tuhan untuk membersihkan hidup kita dan menolong kita untuk hidup bagi dia. Mulai hari ini, belum terlambat. Belum terlambat. Bapak dan Ibu sekalian, kiranya Natal bukan hanya tentang kita yang sudah diselamatkan. Bukan hanya tentang kita yang bersyukur akan kasih Tuhan. Tapi biarlah momen Natal juga menjadi waktu di mana kita membagikan berita Natal, berita tentang Kristus yang datang ke dalam dunia untuk mati bagi umat berdosa. Kristus yang begitu mengasihi kita, yang rela meninggalkan sorga dan lahir di dalam dunia. Biarlah momen Natal ini menjadi momen di mana kita Membagikan Injil Kristus kepada keluarga kita, kepada teman-teman kita. Ajaklah mereka hadir dalam kebaktian Natal. Doakan mereka sehingga mereka pun bisa mendapat hadiah yang besar itu yaitu Kristus di dalam hidup mereka. Pengampunan akan dosa-dosa dan hidup yang kekal di dalam Kristus. Mari mulai momen Natal ini. Kita juga minta Tuhan tolong supaya hidup kita bisa menjadi contoh, teladan bagi orang-orang lain. Khususnya bagi mereka yang belum percaya. Sehingga mereka, orang-orang di sekitar kita bisa melihat Kristus yang hidup dalam hidup kita. May this Christmas be a moment for every one of us, for you and for me to share about the goodness of Jesus Christ to more and more people, to people around us. May this Christmas be that time of the year where we can bless others and share with them the gospel of Jesus Christ. Sekarang Miss Leonie memanggil anak-anak sekalian untuk bergabung bersama kembali kalau ada yang meninggalkan tempat duduk. Boys and girls, Come together and have a listen. Christmas is about Christ. Moms and dads, boys and girls, grandparents, aunties, uncles, Christmas is about Christ. May your family love him more and more. May the joy of Christmas, the true joy of Christmas because Jesus came into this world Because of his love for you and me, may that joy be with you and your whole family. May your family pray for each other, love one another, and may this Christmas be that time where you share the gospel of Jesus Christ with other people, especially those who have not believed in Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you that Jesus Christ, your son, was willing to come to earth to even die on the cross for sinners. We do not deserve your love, and yet you have given us the greatest gift, Jesus Christ loving us and dying on the cross for 
our sins. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for coming into this world. Help us to always remember that Christmas is about Christ. Forgive us, God, if we tend to forget about Jesus during Christmas. Forgive us and help us to love you more and more, to be more faithful, to be more loving, to be a blessing for other people. Hear our prayer, God, and we lift up our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior. Amen. Merry Christmas. Have a blessed end of the year. God bless you. On a dark, cold night in Bethlehem, a little child was born. He is Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Students and parents, let's prepare our heart. We will start our candlelight service. Dear parents, students, and teachers, as for now, we are going to have candlelight service. So please prepare your candle and lit your candle. When you celebrate Christmas, what do you have in your mind? Christmas decoration? Christmas tree? Or even Santa Claus? Christmas was not about all of that. When we celebrate Christmas, we have to remember that Christmas is the day God proves His love to all of us. On a starry night, 2,000 years ago, God sent His one and only Son, Jesus Christ, to this world. He came in humility. He born as a baby and laid in manger. Jesus did it all so He can bring comfort whenever we feel sad. Jesus did it all so he can give us courage whenever we feel afraid. Jesus did it all to bring happiness, joy, and peace to all of us. And even more, Jesus came to this world to save you and me from sin. Jesus is the greatest gift of love that God given us. Dear parents, students, and teachers, as we lit our candle, may our heart fill with God's love so we'll be able to share goodness to everyone around us so that our present can bring comfort to everyone who feels it. Our words can give courage to everyone who feels afraid. And may everything that we do brings joy, peace, and happiness to others. Until many people know God loves them so much. Let us pray. Dear loving Father, we come to you, Lord, with a grateful heart. We want to say thank you for loving us so much. And we want to give thanks to you, Lord, for your greatest gift, Jesus Christ. Lord, as we celebrate your love in this Christmas, help us, Lord, to be able to share your love to others through our words and actions. Let everything that we do bring joy, peace, and happiness to others so many people will glorify you, will know God loves them so much. Amen. Dear parents, students, and teachers, let's focus our heart unto God and receive His blessings. May the grace from our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship with the Holy Spirit brings us joy, peace, and happiness into our lives and our families from now 
until forever. Amen. To God be the glory. Now, students and parents, let's sing with us. Let's spread this good news and praise Him together. time for announcement. Students' holiday will start from December 11, 2020, and the school day will start again from January 11, 2021. Now we are almost at the end of our Christmas celebration. Yes, but we will celebrate one more time Christmas celebration in another country. And make sure you have prepared yourself to dance and sing along because it's going to be fun. And students, parents, we hope you can enjoy your holiday, stay safe, stay healthy, and Merry Christmas! Christmas!